SSI checks will be going up by this much based on a new announcement. And yes, this is a dedicated video for supplemental security income and the roughly 8 million beneficiaries that do rely on these benefits. That's the focus of the video. Let's jump into it. First off, if you have not done so yet, please make sure to subscribe to the channel down below with the big subscribe button right down there. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your support. And feel free to share this video if you know anybody that receives social security or other benefits like SSI. Feel free to share this with them. Again, with the share button down below. Thank you. I really appreciate your support and let's get into it and talk about it. All right. Now, just a couple days ago, we got a very important economic data point that was released that will directly impact your SSI benefit checks. Now, yesterday, I was out in a dedicated video talking about social security, retirement, SSDI, survivors, spousal, and a bunch of benefit amounts like that. But in this video, I want to give you a dedicated SSI video because on the one from yesterday, I saw a bunch of comments coming in saying, what about SSI? Can you tell us exactly how much we'll be getting as well? So here you go. Here's your dedicated video, okay? So again, like I said, SSI is the focus of this video, supplemental security income. Now, as of right now, this is the most recent economic data. And again, I want to make it very clear, just like I said in the video yesterday, this is not the official announcement, but considering all else the same, in other words, if nothing changes over the next couple months here, this is the increase we would be looking at to your SSI benefit checks. So as a result, I want to give you the numbers as far as what we're looking at, as far as how much your benefit checks would be increasing based on this economic data. But all of this is subject to change, okay? It could go higher, it could go lower, or it could stay the exact same. We don't know yet. We still have a couple months to go and two more data points that we need to gather to determine exactly how much your increase will be as far as the official announcement, okay? Just wanna clarify that real quickly, make sure that that is very uh, well known, but uh, I will talk through the details. So based on this most recent economic data point that we got, it looks like the COLA, the cost of living adjustment for Social Security, and again, the roughly 70 plus million people that get benefits from Social Security every month, including SSI, is going to be about 2.6% based on this most recent forecast and the most recent projections based on the inflation data. So it's not that much. 2.6%. It's pretty low, right? But it's certainly better than zero. So with that being said, I want to give you some practical numbers to work with here to look at how much your benefit checks would likely be based on this 2.6% if that is what the COLA turns out to be. And again, we don't know what the official announcement is going to be yet. We're still a couple months out, but just want to make that very clear, okay? All right, so let me talk you through some numbers here so you can see exactly what those translate into as far as real money in your bank account, real money on your Direct Express card, however you typically get it, doesn't matter, it's all the same, right? All right, so anyway, as of right now, as an individual, the maximum benefit is 943. You know that. However, applying a potential 2.6% raise to that would increase the benefit by $25 a month, going from 943 maximum up to a maximum benefit for next year of $968, okay? That would be the new maximum benefit if there is a 2.6% raise. So it'd be an increase of $25 a month or $300 for the entire year is what the tra uh, what that translates into. Is that gonna make sense, okay? So it's not much. $25 a month is, don't get me wrong, we'll, gl we'll gladly take it. It's going to help a little bit, but it's not going to be life-changing for most people considering prices have gone up significantly more than that we already know that, right? And again, there's just some other uh, details about that, but you know, that's kind of the point that I wanna share with you, okay? That's for an individual. Now, what about a married couple? Right now, the uh, maximum benefit for a married couple is $1,415 a month. That's the maximum you can get as a married couple. However, this also gets adjusted because of the COLA. So applying a potential 2.6% COLA to the maximum 1415 benefit for a married couple would increase benefits by $37 a month taking benefits from 1415 uh, up by $37 a month up to $1,452 would be the new maximum benefit amount for a married couple receiving SSI, okay? And $37 a month is, I'm quickly trying to add this in my head right now, um, it's about $445-ish, about $445 a year is what that translates into uh, with the $37 a month, okay? It's about 445. I, it's, I'm not exactly on. I'm just kind of calculating as, as I'm trying to talk here, okay? So anyway, that's what it comes down to. It's not much. It's, again, better than nothing, but the same situation applies here. Even for the married couple, getting an extra $37 a month, you know? 
I mean, here's the thing. As a married couple, that's, um, you know, not much money for two people, especially when we've seen prices go up significantly more than that with all the inflation and everything else we've seen here. It's no surprise. And again, that's kind of the point of the cola is to keep up with inflation. But unfortunately, I think we all recognize and we know better than to believe that the actual cola that's being announced and applied is not anywhere near what real inflation has been uh, going up and what real inflation has been impacting benefit checks for the last couple of years and especially this year alone, right? But again, I said this earlier and I wanna say it again really quickly. This is all subject to change. All of this could change dramatically here in a matter of the next couple months. We don't know yet, right? It all depends on those announcements that we're going to be getting in mid-September and mid-October when we get those. Then we'll have all three data points that we need to determine what the COLA will actually be. This announcement that I'm talking about here is just the coal, or sorry, just the inflation data for the month of July. That's it, just July. Okay, so we have one of three data points. Remember, they use the third quarter inflation data. The third quarter is right now, July, August, and September. That is the third quarter of the year. They take the inflation data for this quarter and they compare it to the inflation from last year during the same time, the third quarter. And the difference of inflation or the difference uh, there is the COLA for the following year. Does that kind of make sense, right? So it's always very, very, very much delayed and it's always significant below where it really needs to be. And again, we've talked about this a million times before in other videos. I don't need to share, uh, you know, discuss that all in great detail here. You know the situation here, okay? So anyway, we'll have to see how this whole thing shakes out. Maybe, maybe it comes in a little higher. Maybe it stays the same. Maybe it comes down. I'm not sure, but I said this yesterday and I want to say it again really quickly. My best estimate, if I have to give a very tight range on this thing of a half a percent range, as far as my best estimate of where the cola is likely going to fall, uh, fall or land, I'm going to say this much. As of right now, with one data point in our possession, I would say between 2.4% and tops 2.9%. Okay, that's where I'm looking right now. I know it's still a little bit of a range, but once we get the next data point in another, call it three, four, well, another four weeks, when we get the next data point in another month from now in mid-September to determine how much the, you know, the inflation was for the month of August, when we get that data point, I'll be able to uh, bring that range down significantly, probably within two to three tenths of a percent, okay? So give me another month and I'll tell you much more closely as to where that coal is likely gonna land. But it's looking like kind of right now, kind of around that mid uh, two and a half percent range. Not great. This would be the lowest cola, by the way, that we've received since, what was it, 2021? I think it was, yeah. So last year we got the 8.7. The year before we got 5.9. The year before that, no, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying that correctly. This year we got 3.2, last year 8.7, the year before 5.9, the year before that 1.3. So this would be the lowest raise that we've received since 2021, okay? So yeah, be very low, that'd be bad. So anyway, hope this helps you again. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends on my social media. There's a share button down below. Check out the other videos here on the channel, the thousands in the video library, the ones I've hand selected for you down below in the description or the top of the comment section. And right now showing up on your screens, you'll see some videos there as well. Check out one of those. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you and your support. Have a nice day and I'll see you again in just a minute in the next video.